That's why we chose Aurelia, because it's got good, strong autumn vigour. We started growing an all-seed rape this year, is our first year growing it, because it's a really good break crop. Um, it's really good in the rotation. It's historically been very profitable, especially this year. So uh, we feel it's a good addition to our um, cropping plan. We're looking for vigour. We're looking for good disease resistance and good performance. We're looking for yield. I like to look at varieties which are less volatile and they are more consistent with their yields. So that's why we chose Aurelia, because it's got good strong autumn vigour to help establish the plant to get it past that really vulnerable stage for flea beetle and then also slugs. The main important factor we wanted to go for was our getting that early establishment, getting it up out of the ground. Pod shatter is something we looked at when choosing the variety of Aurelia um, and it's something that we'll, as it's our first year, we'll see when we combine how, how it works out and how important it has been for us. We're always growing winter barley and then following it with all seed rape because it's combined early so that we can get the all seed rape in early enough because we feel that's something really important. So this year to establish our all seed rape, we ran through at eight inches with a Grange six metre toolbar and then we went straight in with our Dale direct drill. Um, we established the all seed rape with buckwheat at the same time. We have a split hopper and we had every other culture was um, buckwheat or all seed rape and it's been really successful. The, the all seed rape has grown really well, especially at the start, but we managed to get it into moisture, which we feel is the most important thing because not getting into moisture just doesn't help with the establishment. The buckwheat grew really well to start with and that, that's all now died off because it dies off in the first frost. So it was a bit of an experimental trial of, of a way to establish it, but it's worked well this year. We'll probably try it again this year, but maybe trial something else as well. Our biggest challenge to growing all seed rape has been the flea beetle. Um, slugs has also been a problem over the years, but this year luckily it hasn't, we have had one application of slug pellets, but there hasn't really been a problem with that with this year. Pigeons has been a really bad problem this year, um, especially next to our wooded areas. So we've got four fields of all seed rape and it's really, really got on top of the all seed rape over throughout the winter. We've tried a few different forms of trying to scare them off, get rid of them. We've got shooters, but it's been a big problem this year. But I'd definitely say that the flea beetle is the biggest challenge to all seed rape for growers. So with Asprey Spring Crop Nutrition, we use tissue tests and advice from our agronomist to make sure that, the, that we prioritise the plant health and we've got the plant isn't deficient in anything because obviously that it makes it prone to pests and diseases further and obviously the yield will be um, affected. So we think that because we've had a really good establishment this autumn, our plant growth regulators are going to be quite important. So we've already um, applied some because we just don't want the plant to get too far ahead. So it's something that we're monitoring, but we use our agronomist to help us make the informed decisions. But we think it's really important to keep testing the plant rather than just applying it, actually test, test what it's deficient in. So we think next year, if, if, we, if it's successful this year and we um, grow all seed rape again, which we hopefully will, we're looking at using livestock because we think it's really important to incorporate livestock into arable farms further. So we're hopefully going to look at using some sheep to control the canopy throughout the winter. So I know a lot of a few of the farmers have done it, but it's not necessarily the the done thing all the time. So it'll be interesting to see how that works out next year.